Nathan Zagura here with a game preview edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals. It's the two in one Cleveland Browns fresh off of back to back wins at home heading on the road to take on the one and two Minnesota Vikings. The Browns in search of their first road victory of the season taking on a very frisky Vikings team that frankly is a couple of kicks away from being three and oh coming off of a big 30 to 17 win over the Seattle Seahawks. Now everybody in the NFL is buzzing about the return. Kevin Stefanski heading back to Minnesota where he spent the first 14 years of his NFL career before becoming the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. And here's what our coach had to say about heading back to Minnesota. Uh, big challenge this week, uh, really good football team. Uh, they very easily could be 3-0. They went on the road uh, and played a good Cincinnati Bengals team and, and had it at the end. Uh, had a fumble, almost in field goal territory. Week two, we go to Arizona, who's undefeated. Uh, had a field goal that they missed late in the game. Then they go home, and in their first game, I thought they played lights out. So big challenge, uh, really good football players on their roster, really good coaches, uh, and it's a tough place to play. So we're going to have to be about our business. Oh, that's right, folks. He is focused on the business at hand, and that's going 1-0 this week against the Minnesota Vikings. Now, this is a Vikings team that is elite on offense. Kirk Cousins, over the last 10 games, ranks in the top three in every conceivable passing category. Yards, touchdowns. He's thrown only two interceptions during that span. In fact, he's gone 200 pass attempts in a row without an interception. Completion percentage, Kirk Cousins has been a very efficient and elite quarterback, and he gets the ball out very quickly. So it's unlikely that the Browns will have another record-setting performance with nine sacks or four and a half from Miles Garrett. So they've got to get their hands up and be disruptive because in the passing game, they like those quick hitters, and they've got two of the best receivers in the NFL, Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen that the Browns will have to contend with. And remember, no Greg Newsom, but the good news is you've got Greedy Williams to step in and start opposite Denzel Ward. But this is a team that doesn't just throw the ball. They have an elite running back. Dalvin Cook, one of the few guys that can be in the sentence with the Nick Chubbs and Kareem Hunts of the National Football League. He is a threat to take it to the house on any given carry, averaging right now over 100 total yards per game. He's a guy who can hit you for 100 on the ground. And as I said, he can go the distance on any single carry. So offensively, they're elite. And the Browns are going to have to contend with a team that ranks in the top 10 in basically every offensive category, just like the Browns do. Now, if there is a weakness on paper for this Vikings team, it's on the defensive side. They're in the bottom 10 in basically every single defensive category. They've given up a lot of points, but they've played some good offenses in Cincinnati, Arizona, and the Seattle Seahawks. But they have elite players at all three levels. Daniil Hunter, one of the best pass rushers in the league. Eric Kendricks, one of the best middle linebackers in the league. And Harrison Smith, a perennial Pro Bowl safety on the back end. So don't let those stats fool you. Last week, they were down 17-7 to the Seahawks and Russell Wilson in an excellent offense. They won that game 30 to 17 going on a 23-0 run. So the Browns are focused. That's why head coach Kevin Stefanski said we have to take on this challenge. We have to take care of our business against a very, very good football team. Look, Minnesota runs a very similar offense to what we run. They know what we're going to do. We know what they're going to do. It's going to come down to execution. And for the Browns, Baker Mayfield has been efficient all year. That needs to continue. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt wearing down a Minnesota front that is not deep. They've got some injuries up there right now. And then on the outside, the return of Odell Beckham Jr., Donovan Peoples-Jones, Hollywood, the great trio of tight ends, all need to contribute because the team that scores the most wins. I know that's obvious. You say that, but this is going to be a high scoring game, I feel like, and you're going to need to race out to 30. I think you need sevens, not threes in this game. So look for the Browns to be aggressive on offense, trying to get to that end. This is going to be a fun one. No elements. We are indoors. Should be perfect conditions for great offensive football and a real test for the defenses here on both sides, especially for the Browns. Probably the biggest test the Browns have had, obviously, since week one against Kansas City. This is going to be a fun one. Get your popcorn. Get ready for some fireworks because that's what I'm expecting when the Browns head to Minnesota to take on. On the Vikings. Remember, we'll have full coverage of this game for you beginning at 11 o'clock on News 5 with Browns Countdown. John Doss, Hanford Dixon, and Gerard Cherry, plus me. I'll be in Minnesota with the latest on this game. And that'll do it for this game preview edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals. <laughs>